Hey, um, I'm a little bit awkward filming this because we're gonna be touching on personal, personal issues. Um, now what are we going to talk about? Oh, <laughs> I always forget. Um, hey, 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 hello, my name is Mm, nice to see you again. <laughs> Today's video is um it's this list. And the title is Ten Things You Shouldn't Do Regarding Your Crush. <laughs> but I did I didn't stick to it. So this is just like crushing not crushing nuts, not crushing chocolate to make chocolate chips. Not like crushing a mirror? I don't fucking know. No, this is crushing. Crushing as in the feeling you get when you look at someone and you're like, God damn it, how am I going to live my life without you? Yeah, that kind of crushing. I know, I know. I, I didn't want to make this video, but here I am, you know, like... I have a history with crushing on people I shouldn't be crushing on. In fact, there is this guy, right? Um, <laughs> should I be getting so personal with y'all? Uh, there is this guy that I liked since ages ago because I'm still crushing on him. <laughs> I still. Okay, let's get on to it. <laughs> Um, number one, you shouldn't do something just because of them. Like, that is such a huge mistake that I, I have come to learn about and not do anymore. Don't, don't do something just because of them, as in, don't start liking like a certain type of music, don't dress a certain way, don't start doing something like if your crush likes knitting, and you don't, you don't have to start knitting for them. Like, if you are into books, and your crush is like, no, fuck books, fuck literature. But you really like books, you shouldn't stop liking books. If they start liking you, they will be like, oh, so you like books then. Okay, so you've been lying to me? Like, sick fuck. Fuck you. Or maybe that is just my um, anxiety talking, but yeah, no, don't do it. One, you're lying. Two, it's stressful as fuck. Three, why would you? Number two, not talking to them will just make things more difficult on your end. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I cannot stress this enough, like, you'll never get to know them, really, if you don't talk to them. So, just talk to them, and see what happens. Three, stress, are noticeable. Trust me, friends, they are. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Mm. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have felt someone's stare on me. And it's not because they like me or something, just like, we quit staring at me, it's awkward for me. Yeah, don't do it. If you cannot help yourself, then like, what's left to do? But, yeah, try to be subtle about that. That, that is not so, but if you're like, glancing at them every once in a while, like, oh, they're them, they're, are, they are there, existing. And just interacting with my same environment. Just be subtle, I mean. Or if you have a chance to talk to them, do it. Yeah. <laughs> because if your crush is like a friend or something, it's like really easy to talk to them. But if they're not, it can get really difficult. You just have to be like so reckless sometimes. You just have to be like a fucking reckless ass bitch and just talk to them <laughs> that's what being reckless means to me but don't like do something inappropriate like hey 
I dream of you every single night because that will creep them out. Not that I've tried it so, but if someone said that to me, I would be creeped out and scared for my life. Five, fantasies are that, just fantasies. If you fantasize about marrying your crush one day, it will be a fantasy, a dream of yours, until you do something to make it happen. Basically, what I'm saying is don't do what I do. It's like, everything I do, don't do it. Also, if you fantasize like, oh my god, they're gonna be like this and do this and love me so much. Like, you never know because you don't know them. And if you do, how do you know? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I said that so fluently. I'm proud of myself. Pat in the back. Six. Remember that you can't decide, you don't decide, who you fall for. If you're like, god damn it, why do I like the ugliest bitch in the world? You know what? You're gonna get stuck with it. Then you're just gonna move on, right? <laughs> our feelings, our hearts, our souls, whoever decides, whatever decides who we fall for, is not thinking correctly sometimes emotions are weird you cannot decide for them they decide for you and that sucks sometimes remember that they are human meaning your crush is sometimes not going to be the ideal that you have in your head remember that they're humans and they they have a personality so don't objectify them but they have a personality of their own that you can control and if you don't know it then you're falling in love with them and don't be so scared of them they're just humans just humans just another boy girl whatever they identify as like you and remember that they are they are their own person mm -hmm. they have flaws and it's really hard to ident identify them because they're just covered in all that beautifulness of human but they have flaws because they're human and everyone has flaws nobody's perfect nobody's perfect eight it's impossible to predict what you're gonna regret, but don't do something you regret. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's literally what I wrote. I mean, yes, but what? <sighs> I guess I'll have to be personal with you. This March slash April, I went ham on my emotions. Meaning, I went ham on this bitch that I didn't like so much. I did some things that I regret, and I knew I was gonna regret them, but I did them anyway. I don't know what I'm saying. Just don't do something that's so out of character <laughs> that it hurts. Because if you're watching a, sh a show, a TV show, and you're like, um, that character is not like that, that makes you cringe. Now think of that character as yourself and think that you're gonna cringe if you do something that that you should that you wouldn't do. Am I making sense? I don't think I am, but I'll keep talking because this is a safe space. Okay. <laughs> don't do anything out of character. Again, going back to they don't do something just because of them. Or do, be fucking reckless. I don't fucking care, I don't know you. Just live your fucking life. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. This list is mine. Follow this list if you are similar to me. If you are me. If we're in personality twins. This advice might not be for you. There's a really great chance that this advice is not for you. But if you are able to take away something from this video, do, please, be my guest.
nine. It's okay to fall out of love of your one-sided relationship. If you start to fall out of love with your crush, it's fine. Don't fight it. If you start feeling like I don't even know them, why do I even like them? I shouldn't. And you start living that feeling and you don't want it to go away, it's okay. Let it go away. And number 10. Yeah. It's not embarrassing or something you should be ashamed of. It's just human emotions. Crushing is a delicate subject because because we're being so vulnerable by letting come into our heart and just fucking own it. What I mean, I guess is that it's facts. It happens and it's something completely normal. So don't be afraid of it. Don't be scared of it. Don't be embarrassed by it. Talk about it with your friends, your family, on the internet even. It's fine. It's 2019. You'll work it out. I promise. <laughs> even if you end up not being with them. There's plenty of fish in the sea and sometimes it's impossible to think that because it's like do I like him so much? How could I ever like someone else? Eventually you will. Well, that was so professional, I'm not too I cannot believe those words came out of my mouth. <sighs> Well, that was intense. You'll work it out, I promise. And if you don't, shame on you. Um, and if you don't, I'm there with you, buddy. I promise. <laughs> if you for some reason like this video, give it a like, because it will boost my self-esteem. I promise. If you like me in this video, again, for some goddamn reason, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't know what this video was. But I like to it. Sometimes it's fun to just rant about your feelings. Thanks for watching. This is the end of this video. And I will see you later. Gator. Ah, so cringe. Okay, big yikes. This bitch that I like is way too confusing. I'm so confused. Like, dude, what the fuck?